couple of examples of uh, crucibles. The one on the left is a steel or stainless steel crucible. Uh, and on the one on the right, this is porcelain, that's what we'll be using in class. Uh, a steel crucible or a stainless steel crucible, unfortunately, when you heat them, often oxidize uh, quite a bit. And then the result is you gain mass just from heating it. And it's hard to control uh, that mass over time. The porcelain crucibles are much less reactive. And so when you heat them, they tend to uh, maintain their mass much better. So I'll show you how to handle these crucibles. You notice there's a little hole on the top. A lot of times people will put a little wire on there to grab, but I've always learned that if you grab it with the crucible tongs like that, it's pretty hard to draw. The crucible itself, you should never try to grab it with the pinchers unless you're just gonna pick it up like this, which is okay for what we're doing. But typically people grab the crucibles at the top this way. Don't try to grab it too far at the bottom because it's very slippery as you squeeze it because the angle is too severe. But at the top, you should be able to grab it and have pretty good stability without it falling off. Now, if you're heating this with the lid on, you're gonna grab it right underneath where the lid is. And don't squeeze it because still it's possible for it to slide out like that because it's a little bit lower when it's like that. But if you're, if you're careful with a little practice, don't panic if it starts sliding up like that. Just keep your hand steady and you should be able to carry it just fine. So what I'll do next is I'll be showing you how to heat these on an iron triangle. 